Hi, fitness friends. This is AquaFit Coach Stacy, and I am bringing you Just Jogs and Jacks 2. We're going to begin by getting right into the warm up, and I'm going to use a pair of Aqua Buoys, and it is optional for you to use those during the warm up. And I also suggest that you have a pair of Aqua Shoes on for this workout. Begin with a strong posture and start jogging those feet so that you're starting to bring those heels up behind you. I call these butt kickers because you're bringing the heels up to the behind and we're trying to stay strong with our abs, keep the shoulders down and relaxed. Now, go ahead and change it into some knees up in front there, just starting to get those abs engaged. You can widen up those arms a bit to help you with the balance. Let's open those hips up by taking those knees out a little bit wider here. Feeling that stretch start in those inner thighs. Bring that down into a jog, but let's bring that right foot a little offset forward. We're gonna jog with that right foot in front here. It's gonna just start challenging our brain and getting those hips ready. And then just change it to an offset jog left. Back to a normal type jog, and then start making those feet go wide, wide, narrow, narrow, into a wide and narrow jog. Okay, we're gonna open those hips out to the side, so as you go, a little bit wider each time. Jog it wide and stay wide, then bring your heels up into those butt kickers, but this time you wanna angle them inward and across behind you there. So bringing across your midline, it's gonna stretch those hips even more. And remember, if we do anything today that causes you any kind of pain, please omit the movement. Finish up one or two more, and then we are done with our brief warm-up, and we are ready for the first half of our workout. Our first exercise of 25 is going to start out with a jog here, and then we're going to do a chest tap. So that's just a bend and extend of your elbows out to the sides. So the boobies come to your chest and then go out into a T shape. We want to keep shoulders down and tummies in strong. And if you can get those shoulders down in the water, even better. And those feet, quick jogging. Now less intensity option here showing the upper body here uh, with the buoys upright. So this is always an option for any of the moves today is putting the buoys in this position. To increase your challenge, you're gonna bring the buoys a little bit underneath that surface. So the more they're in the water, the more they're gonna drag. Moving into number two, just jack legs here. So we're gonna put those arms either in a T shape or you can have them underneath the armpits. So either way, whatever works for you today, we're gonna start with some just quick out and in jacks, out in, out in, nice and quick and small range of motion. We're about halfway, so we're gonna change up those just jack legs to a crisscross in the center and a wide open. Point the toes outward here and a crisscross and then a wide. And I want you to go a little slower, bigger range of motion and just finish it out there. And try to squeeze those thighs together. Great job, just one more here, and then we're gonna bring those boobies right in front of us, and we're gonna do alternating punches right, left, and I want you to jog, and I would like to see you doing some traveling. So a travel is a forward and backwards movement here, so we're gonna jog forwards, you're gonna kinda lean into it as you jog forwards, and you're gonna jog backwards, and you're gonna lean into it. Now you don't have to jog too many steps forward and back, just enough to kind of feel that resistance in both ways. It really helps you to get that core a little bit more engaged. And if you turn those boobies sideways again, you're gonna get more resistance, which is gonna make you work a little bit more, which is gonna just help you tone that much faster, right? Why not try it?
for number four, we're back to those jack legs. So out and in with those legs. Try to sink down in the water a little deeper this time in those jacks. And we're gonna go back to those chest taps again. So remember, it's a bend and extend out to the walls. So you're gonna take those hands and like punch out towards the walls and then bring the hands back to the chest. So you go to a T shape and then bend those elbows. And I would like to see you use your dumbbells sideways this time if you can. Because again, we're trying to work that extra resistance, make ourselves stronger. Remember, you can always do the upright version here if you need to, but try to challenge yourself. Let's bring it back into a jog for number five. We are gonna do some traveling again here, but we're gonna keep the long arms down by your sides. So you're not gonna really look like you're moving anywhere. Your feet are gonna go in front of your body and your feet are gonna go behind you as you tick tock the arms the opposite way of the legs. So as you jog those feet forward, your arms are gonna swing back. As you jog the feet back, your arms swing forward. Notice how my buoys are not breaking through the surface or staying under the surface. My shoulders are relaxed and my tummy is pulled in. So we want all of those things happening there. And then you go bigger once you get all those criteria. Okay, back to jack legs. Open and close the legs and open and close the arms together with those legs. This is number six, jacks and a lat arm pull down. So I want you to keep the elbows bent. And as you close those legs, I want you to squeeze the buoys together and then kind of scoop them in inward. So squeeze and scoop them in a little bit, squeeze and scoop. And when the elbows come out to the sides of the surface, they don't break through the water and neither do the buoys. Again, you just try to keep everything under that surface. Squeeze and scoop open, squeeze and scoop, and let those legs keep on jacking. If you wanna lengthen your arms for more intensity, it's gonna look like more of a clap down in the center here. So you're gonna use a lot more upper body for this one. Start jogging those feet and we're gonna start pushing down those buoys at your side. So your buoys are off to both sides, right down by your hip there. And you're gonna try to get those knees a little higher with this jog so that those knees kind of get to the thighs being parallel to the floor. And as you push down on the right side, the knee lifts on the left side. So we're doing alternating push downs with those knee lifts and it's a jog. So I want it in a speedy fashion here. So we're jogging and any of that knee lift is great but you can always be just a jog if you'd rather. Last one, then back to jack legs. Let's open those arms into a T shape. And this is number eight. I call them M shaped jacks because they look like the shape of an M. So this motion is a wide land, tuck center up, land narrow, then tuck center up, then land wide, tuck center, then land narrow. So we're gonna do this by using your abdominals to pull that leg up nice and strong. And I'm also here showing you a suspended version here if you wanna try to have it under the armpits. Again, it's all about the comfort and the challenge. So wherever you feel like this is challenging you here. And if you're in the suspended version, I want you to minimally tap down before you push back off. So use more of those abs. Let's return to a jog, bringing those buoys back in front. Let's everyone take a nice strong breath. Big inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. And let's bring those heels up behind you for some butt kickers again. Now we're gonna take those buoys and we're gonna plunge them down alternating sides. So a right and a left. So you're gonna try to also make sure we're using opposing limbs. So if you have the right arm pushing down, the left leg is lifting. So we're using different sides of the body for different things. So let's just go ahead and try these 
plunging very strong to the bottom, keeping the shoulders down, keeping that tummy tucked in. Finish up one more, then let's go to jack legs. Okay, number 10 for jack legs. We are going to go alternating presses forwards. Now our presses are forward. We got a right, then a left, then a right, then a left. Now, once you get the pattern here, I want you to go in a double time tempo up on top. So I want you to go a little bit faster with those arms. So I want you to go right, left, right, left. So one goes out as one comes in. So that speedier tempo is going to make more waves there. It's going to challenge those hips and the core a little bit more. And keep those legs jacking. Keep those knees soft there. And also, let's challenge ourselves with those sideways buoys. I'm going to challenge you quite a bit today using those buoys sideways. Long and strong wrists, everybody. Last one, and we're back to our jogs. Get those feet jogging, shoulders relaxed. Now, number 11, we're going to do a double buoy roll. Now, we're going to push downward, away, lift up, and then pull in to create a big forward circle. So down, away, up, in, down, away, up, in, big circle forward. And I want those feet going super fast. I want a lot happening. I want those waves started. I want you using your abs. I want you keeping the shoulders down. Let's do this. Last one and awesome. Ready for jacks. Now open and close those legs. We're gonna start with those arms bent in front, palms up. These are called inward angled biceps. So we're gonna have those palms up. So we're gonna have them in front like a platter hold. And then you're gonna push down and open. So the arms open wide and long out to the sides. We're gonna really get to targeting those biceps. You have to keep those wrists long with this one. And again, when they come to that 90 degrees, it looks like you're almost holding a little platter there in the front and then push out and away. Use the backs of those arms too. Keep your shoulders down. You have about 10 seconds left and then we're ready for our rest break. It's time to rest. Let's get a drink of water, reset your posture, maybe roll out those wrists, roll those shoulders back and then come back when you're ready. And while you're taking your break, why don't you give me a thumbs up on this workout if you like it. It really helps to further my videos, make them better, and it helps me to bring you more videos in the future. And did you know you can get a copy of my workouts in print format? You can just print at home and use right away. Yep, instant downloads, high quality photos and descriptions. For more details, click on the link in my video description. We're ready for that second half, right? Let's resume with a wide jog. We're gonna hold those buoys and we're gonna do an inward buoy pump. So I want you to take the ends of those buoys and kind of bring them down towards the inside of the thigh. So we're trying to give like a little pump to the inside of the right, then the left. So we're gonna keep those elbows bent, shoulders down, and we're just targeting that inner thigh. You're pushing the water right into those thighs there. Yep, and keeping those legs wide, we're gonna work those hip rotators. Remember, we wanna keep that posture upright and those abs tucked in. Moving into number 14, jacks and alternating arm raises. Now these are bent arms that we're starting with here. And shoulders are down, we're gonna jack and we're gonna lift that right side, then the left side, then that right side, there you go. Keep that alternating. Again, we're trying not to break the surface, those buoys stay as much under that water as possible. It's less jarring to the joints when you do that. And then you're working the muscle throughout both ways, up and down. Keep those abs engaged.
Let's bring those feet into a right offset front jog. So jogging with the right foot a little bit more in front. Now this is our number 15. We're gonna jog on that right foot and then we're gonna do a left butt kick on the left side. So we're gonna do an arm extension at the sides too. The elbows are gonna bend and extend. With that jog, I want you to try to think about a big stomp with the right foot, then that heel coming up in the left. And that stomp's gonna help you create a little bit of impact. So it can be more gentle if you'd like, but that stomp is gonna help to create a little bone density while we're in the pool. So a little stomp, then heel, stomp and heel. And those elbows bend, extend, keep the arms tucked to the sides of the body there. Moving right along, we are back to jack legs. This is number 16. We are gonna do jack legs out and in. We're gonna start with those buoys right at the chest, bent arms, and as you jack, I want you to punch across to the right, pull them in with a strong tuck of those buoys to the ribs and the elbows in, and then we're gonna push across the other side. So we're gonna punch across right, pull center, punch across left, pull center. So each time you're gonna try to reach out. A little rotation was what we're looking for on these. So reaching out. Now remember, I'm challenging you again, let's turn up that resistance, turn the buoys sideways, let's get a little bit bigger into this movement. Great job. Let's go back to that jog. This time we're going left foot offset forward. So remember the left foot is gonna try to do a little stomp down and then the right foot comes up behind you in a butt kicker. Make sure you start with those arms tucked by your sides and we're gonna bend and extend, push those buoys down to the floor with that extension and then bend to 90 degrees with those elbows. And again, we're just kind of keep the abs strong. It's kind of like a rocking horse, but we're staying more upright. I just want to stomp, then heel up. Make sure we have long and strong wrists, everybody. And if your wrists are starting to bother you here, you can always put those boobies to the side, right? Last one, then back to jacks. Here is number 18. We are doing jack legs. We got them opening and closing, and we got those shoulders relaxed. We're gonna do alternating plunges down. So we're gonna plunge down right, we're gonna plunge down left, then that right, then left. Now, I wanna try that double time again. One up, one down. So we're gonna go quicker with those plunges in more of a reciprocal fashion. So let's move that water even more, everyone. Big, strong breathing with this one. Last one, then jog your feet. We're gonna start with those arms wide out in a T shape at your sides. We're gonna travel. So remember that forward backwards jog? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lean into it forwards and backwards. And I want you just to drag the buoys. So when you jog forwards, drag the buoys behind you. When you jog backwards, the buoys will be in front of you. Dragging those buoys are making it more challenging for you to have to jog through that water. So making sure those shoulders is down is really important with this one. We wanna keep the shoulders relaxed. And those buoys can be deepened down into the water. The more deep they go, the more you're gonna feel that resistance. Okay, back to our jack legs. We are doing reverse flies. So it's just an opening and closing those arms when they're bent with those elbows. 
But the reverse fly means that we're focusing on the pullback more than the opening. So I want you to really squeeze to the back mold. So I want you to squeeze it open, bring it forward, squeeze it open. So I want you to think in those back muscles are really getting a good workout here. And take a big strong breath, big exhale as you squeeze those back muscles. Okay, this next one's our jog. It's called triple jog, one kick. Maybe it's a brain teaser, I don't know. Hopefully you'll get it pretty quickly. So we're gonna jog, 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 kick. Jog, 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 kick. Jog, 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 kick. Jog, 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 kick. So three jogs, then one big kick. So each time you kick, you should be on the other leg with that three jog in between. Once you get that pattern down, add some arms. So each time you go ahead and do that kick, I want you to give a big push forward of both of those buoys. So you're gonna push, pull those buoys out in front. Keep your abs in, everyone. Last one, and then take it down to jack legs, out and in. We're gonna start with those arms long by your sides for elbow extensions. So you're gonna bend and extend the elbows at your sides. This is level one intensity because I'm taking it up a notch here in just a second. So you can stay with this movement. If you wanna go with me to a little bit more, we're going into what I call is a jack with triangle tucks and those arm extensions. So as you jack it wide, I want you to tuck center and then land wide, tuck center, land wide. Each time you're gonna land full foot wide and then tuck really big into the center. Those arms keep on going, bending and extending throughout. Use a strong breath for these ones. You're gonna get a little bit of lift with those buoys here. Tuck those knees in just as strong as you push those arms down. Let's take it down just a notch into just a jog here. Let's set up those arms so that the right arm's gonna punch forward and the left arm's gonna punch out to the side. This is opposing arms. So we got an L shape going with those punches. One's going forward, one's going to the side, and we are jogging our feet real fast, making a lot of waves, having a lot of fun. And remember, are your buoys sideways yet? If not, let's try it. I gotta say with this one, with all that movement of the water, I got splashed quite a few times. Have you got splashed yet? <laughs> we are moving into our last jack. Now we're gonna jack the legs and we are gonna do alternating stirs. We're gonna change up the stirs a few times. We'll start with alternating. We're gonna do a right stir and a left stir. It's gonna put a lot of emphasis into your core with those stirs going in two different directions. So right and the left, and we're just doing outward stirs with those jacks. Okay, keep those legs going. Now give me some big stirs, both of them together. Big stir, big stir, like a breaststroke. Turn the water. I want a lot of waves, everyone. And one more time, let's alternate the stirs. A big right stir, a big left stir. Trying to keep those hips as forward as possible. Let's make these strong. And last time with both stirs, big, powerful, strong stirs like you mean it. Move as much water as possible with those jacks. 
finish up and then are you ready for our last one here is number 25 a jog just a strong quick jog with opposing limbs you're punching out to the right side you're punching forward in the left side it is your last chance to move with these exercises today so i want you having those buoys sideways or at least challenging yourself with those speedy fast feet working that form having some fun putting on that smile finish it up everyone we're almost there And we did it. Isn't it so much fun getting fit together? Especially being in the pool. I just love it there. Bring it down into a gentle jog and get yourself ready for the stretch. So we're gonna do some recovery stretches. I'm gonna be using both of my buoys for some assisted support and to help lengthen and get myself into the position. So feel free to grab both buoys and join me. Let's go ahead and get our stretch started. Hold the buoy in the right hand and bring the buoy underneath the left thigh. Now this one's gonna be a little bit of balance um, needed. So feel free to set up by the wall. We're just gonna keep a long leg in front and we're gonna put that toe up and inward towards you to stretch through those hamstrings. So draw those toes in, find your balance. Now the hand that's holding the buoy can either have it under the armpit or you can have it in the hand, wherever it helps you to balance. Then go ahead and lower the leg while you bend it. So we're gonna secure it behind the knee. And we're gonna just let that leg just lift out to the side. So let the buoy just let you float up and open up that thigh area here, feeling the groin get a stretch. Use your sculling hand and that buoy to help keep you afloat. Bring that knee forward. Again, we're just gonna keep that leg in front of us. We're gonna have that thigh about parallel to the floor, or maybe a little higher if you have range of motion. We're gonna do a bend and extend of those ankles. So I want you to bend and extend the ankles. I just wanna feel a little stretch in the shins and the calf muscles there. And again, using that buoy for support. And let's go ahead and do a little rotation now. So that same position, draw the knee across the body and the buoy goes out to the other side and I'm just gonna look off into the distance there trying to hold my balance. I'm just trying to bring that leg a little bit inward across my midline. And again, if it doesn't feel comfortable to your hips, please keep it directly forward or drop the toe to the floor if you need more balance support. Bring the buoy underneath the other knee here and set it up first for that long leg in front. Those are your hamstrings. Toes tucked in and again, scull the water as needed. Bend the leg so the knee squeezes the buoy and let that hip just lift out to the side. Again, a good stretch for the groin and the inner thigh there. Use your arms as needed. Lower the hip and bring the knee forward here. And we're gonna do some bend and extend on that ankle. So bend and extend, just finding your balance on your standing leg. Draw the knee across your midline, kind of tuck it in with your hand, and then use the other hand to support, try to looking off into the distance. This is gonna stretch through the core and the neck muscles. Bring that buoy back to the surface, so both of them are at the surface. 
we're going to walk the feet a little wide and then I'm just going to roll forward into a plank. My hands will be at the surface, my toes will be into the floor, and my heels will be raised in a long straight line with my body there. So I'm just holding into a plank to stretch through my full body. Gently lower the heels and allow the backside and the calves here to pull your body back into an upright position and then step the feet in. We're gonna take those long arms and just push back. We're gonna just take our chest and make it nice and proud. Shoulders relaxed and down. And then a little gentle look up to the sky. Again, never looking into the sun as we do that. Round and bring both those buoys forward to the surface. Elbows are slightly bent. We're gonna soften those knees into a little bit of a squat there. So you have a little rounding in the back to stretch to the back muscles. Step, so one foot is forward and we are gonna bring both buoys together overhead and bend those elbows. We're gonna stretch through those triceps and a little bit of the hip flexor here. So we're really thinking about those buoys just touching the back. So those elbows are gonna be tucked into the body here. So strong breathing as we're stretching. Bring the buoys back in front. Keep the left one out in front of you. We're gonna take that right one. We're just gonna bring it open, look behind, and then bring it back in. Open, look behind. We're doing a little rotation. We're gonna do a little bit of movement for those rotators in the shoulders as well. Opening the chest muscles here one more time. And then stop on the other side and then use the other arm to do the same thing. You're gonna open just a little drag of the buoy through the water. And our last one is prayer hands to stretch our forearms and wrist. Put those hands together, relax the shoulders, down in those legs, and then a little hinge and look to the sky. Take a breath, reset in the center, a little hinge and look to the other side. Again, trying to look away from the sun, just anywhere into the sky, enjoying nature there. Take a deep breath. Come on all the way up, roll out those shoulders and give yourself a wave of applause. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm so proud of you all. Thanks so much for joining me for my Jogs and Jacks 2. Rent, subscribe, or buy any of my ad-free workouts on Vimeo. You can check out my website in the details. And I also have those uh, workouts available in print format if you ever want one. Just again, message me come to my webpage or check out the details down below in the video description. Thank you all. See you again soon.